guys what's up welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to film a get ready with me using my boxy charm I know I've never done a video like this but I did receive my boxy charm the other day and I was like that would be a good idea so that's what I'm gonna do today I am in my raggedy clothes because I am very messy so I get my clothes dirty all the time and I was like okay let me just not do that today and yeah so I'm gonna be showing you guys the products first I don't want to make the intro too long because I've been doing that too often and I know it gets boring so um, just please be sure to like my video subscribe and yeah I think with that we're ready to get into the video okay guys so I'm gonna begin with showing you guys the products that I got in my June boxycharm um, so this is it and I do want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers um, she was on the one that recommended for me to get um, boxycharm because I was like saying how I um, got my makeup stolen and she was like hey you should try you know paying $20 a month and then you know they'll send you, send you stuff and I thought about it and I was like it's actually like a really good deal and yeah so I went ahead and did it and I really really liked the, the things that I got last month which was my first month and I was like okay well I, I've been liking it ever since so um, this is a June boxycharm and basically you get a little card like this and then it just kind of um, talks about the how much each product is worth and it's just like little information about it. So for example, I got the So for example, I got the um the Alamar Cosmetics. I think that's the name of the company. And I got the palette Reina del Caribe. So very tropical. This is what this looks like, and this is what I am going to be using for today's tutorial just because I want it to be based off of like the things that I did get and stuff like that. So, I'm not going to really read like the whole description because like it's really really long. This um, retails for $28, so just with this, I even got like my money's worth for the whole boxy charm. And then the next thing I got was these lashes, and they are the 3D Mink Lashes. Oh no, Silk Lashes, Monroe silk lashes by the company Baddington and they're very very natural looking lashes I have not used any of this so yeah everything is still I'm gonna be trying it on with you guys and then so that retails for $28 as well that's crazy for some lashes $28 wow they look very high quality and I've been really into lashes lately, so we'll see how they work. And then I also got this. Um, this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And at first when I saw this, I was like, what the hell is this? You know, because I had never seen it before. So then I opened it and I was like, because I, I, I'm too lazy to like read. what You know, I thought it was like a lip balm or something. And then I was like, what can it be? So then I started reading and it says, yeah, Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. So it basically what it does is it tightens your skin. That's what it's supposed to do. I am not going to be trying this today, but I am going to be trying it. I'm actually going on a little getaway um, next week. So I'll be trying it that day. I'll let you guys know on Snapchat um, how that works out for me, if I like it. Or, you know, maybe I'll end up buying the whole um, thing. And this retails for $10, so this is actually pretty good. I would buy it just to try it even for myself. I never even knew these like existed. This is my favorite thing that I was so excited to try are these Luxie brushes because I think I have looked them up before in the past and I've seen that they're a little bit on the pricier side for my um, like my budget because I usually just stick to Morphe, Morphe brushes and um, I feel like they work really good. I mean, I don't really have a problem blending or anything like that. So I never get a chance to buy, like me cuesta mucho to buy actual like expensive um, brushes so when I saw this I was like yes thank you so these three there it's a three-piece flawless complexion brushes and they retail for $42 so I'm telling you it's a little pricey for brushes but I'm so excited to try these out because I had never even held any Luxie, Luxie brushes and I'm very happy that I got this the next thing that I got was uh, eyeliner pencil 
And I got this in the shade Charcoal. Um, and this retails for $5. And it's just like a regular eyeliner pencil for your waterline. Um, it is 100% vegan, waterproof. 100, yeah, that, that's what it is. And it's by the company John Teblu. John Teblu. And the last thing that I did get was this Ofra uh, liquid lipstick, which I'm so excited also about because little things like this, you guys, I am not able to purchase because I don't have, like, the money to just splurge on makeup every week or every month, you know? So little things, like, I just feel like this is so worth it. Like, I don't even, I'm so happy that Adriana, I'll, I'll link, I think she has a YouTube channel. Thank you, Adriana, for letting me know about this because I'm just, I'm so, so happy that I I am able to get this every month, you know? So, um, yeah, I think with that, we're going to get into the tutorial, you guys. And we're going to, obviously, um, I didn't get any foundation or anything like that. So, I am going to be just using the things that I have here and then the rest that I already have, you know, for my makeup. So, first, I'm going to moisturize. I'm going to moisturize and then I'm going to do my eyebrows off of camera really quick because I took forever with my brows. And then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off of camera and now I'm going to do my foundation. I have my beauty blender here and then for foundation I am using the L'Oreal Infallible in shade 108. And I'm, I know I, I sometimes I'm like 104 or whatever but right now I, I've been loving the way I look tan, like more tan. So I've been trying to um, just... Yeah, like look tanner with my foundation. But it's I wanna look even more tan, you know? So let's go apply that. And I'm going for a very like fresh, um, not too heavy makeup because I'm literally just gonna go run errands and then I'm just um we're gonna head over to California today. So I don't wanna be with like all this like my caked up face in in the car for hours, you know. So not too heavy. But I still want to look like I have some makeup on. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and set my foundation. I only put two layers because, like I said, I don't want to be super heavy. And then I'm going to be using my... Oh, no, let me use a brush. First. Let me see. Is there a powder brush? I need to like go run so many errands right now and I'm the, I'm not lagging it, it's just like, you know. Ooh, ooh. This is so pretty. I can use this to highlight for sure or this one to highlight. This is more for, um, oh this is for powder. Yeah, this is for highlight, I knew it. Foundation. This is for foundation, but I'll probably not use it for foundation. This is supposed to be for powder. But I don't know how I feel about this. Maybe this could be for bronzer. Yeah, I'm going to use this for bronzer. And then I'm going to just take my Morphe powder brush and set my foundation very lightly. Because, I, like I said, I don't want to be all kicked up. Okay, and then for um, my concealer, you guys already know my LA Girl Yellow Corrector and my Porcelain. See, this is why I have to wear like ugly shirts when I do my makeup because siempre me mancho. And like makeup no se quita, like I don't know with you guys, but with my makeup it's very hard to remove. So, I don't want to ruin clothes, you know, so, I just, I learned my lesson, so I, I just learned to, like, put it on after. I remember I used to know, I don't know if you guys do this, but 
I used to know some girl. Um, I used to know some girl. She would literally like would get dressed and then like get dressed first, right? Like she wouldn't do her hair or makeup first. Just get dressed first and then she would put on like an ugly shirt over her outfit and then get ready. Like isn't that so weird? Like isn't that weird? I don't remember who it was that I saw. It was like obviously one of my friends. But I, I just always, I, I never told her anything, but in my head I was like, that's so weird. I've never seen anyone do that. I mean, whatever. I mean, it's the same shit. She still has to put on her clothes, but I just had never seen anyone do that, you know? I don't know. Like, do you guys do that? That would be interesting to know. Or do you guys, like, do your makeup um, with your clothes on? Because that's, what, well, when I film um, makeup tutorials, that's what I would do. Like, I would just um, film with my cute clothes on. But, my like, they just started getting ruined. And then I would have to change at the end of the tutorial anyway. So, I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm sorry for my subscribers not seeing me cute while I do my makeup. But, I think they'll understand that I don't want to ruin my clothes. So, hopefully you guys understand that I don't want to ruin my clothes. So, I'm just going to have to... But basically, you guys, um, to prime, I used this, my pawns, and then I also used my Cover FX uh, primer. And this primer, you guys, I actually got in the last month's um, boxy charm, and it is full size, so you do get full size of everything, which is really, really cool. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer with my airspun. And I'm just going to use a little bit because usually I use like a lot. Um, and I don't remember who I was watching the other day and they were like, no, like you shouldn't put too much. And I usually like put a lot, a lot. So I've been putting a little bit and my face looks a little bit smoother. I prime with my same porcelain, porcelain concealer from LA Girl. And just blend out. Okay, you guys. So, I'm going to go in with the Alamar Cosmetics. Um, the eyeshadow. And let's see what look we create with this. Okay, so we can use for a transition color. I'm going to use Coco Taxi, which is this orange one it looks so so pretty hopefully they're as pigmented as they look so i'm gonna go in with my um b no this is a real techniques blending brush and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do that mm, yeah they are pretty pigmented not like oh my gosh like scary pigmented which i like but blendable and buildable pigmented i mean you guys can see for yourselves right Because I hate when like you put a color and ya como que valiste. Because you can't blend it out no more. So you kind of want to dab, I mean like, yeah, dab some on and then blend it. And don't be scared of color, you guys. It blends out. It's fine. Now going in with the shade Tropical or Tropico. This one right here, the reddish one. I'm going to be taking another um, Real Techniques blending brush, and this is a crease brush, so I'm going to go in and put this on the crease and blend it out. Ooh, this one's pigmented. But it does have a lot of fallout too, so just be aware. Usually, um, very very pigmented shadows will have fallout for the most part. And then go in and blend. I'm gonna take one that doesn't have any shadow on it, just to blend everything together.
okay and now to add a little more dimension I am gonna be adding this cafecito down here and I'm just gonna be adding a little bit because I got a little bit scared with the um, past shadow that I just added just a little bit in the outer corner of my eye yeah they're very pigmented So be careful. Add more, blend it out. Add more, blend it out. So I am gonna be adding this shadow. It's like a. Let me see. Let me see first if I wanna add it. Oh no. It's like a green shadow. It's El Malecon. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's very, very pretty, very pigmented, but it's kind of a green-ish, so I'll probably wear that tomorrow because the dress that I'm going to wear has, like, it's not exactly this green, but I think it'll look cute with that. So I'll post a picture on Instagram and everything, but not for today. For today, I think I'm going to leave my shadow like this, and I'm just going to add some inner corner highlight, and then, yeah, so for my bottom lash line, I am going to add the shadow Tropico. Oh no, I'm gonna add cafecito. Let's add. No, actually, let's go for more of a natural look. So I'm gonna add my NYX Wonder Pencil. Just so my eyes could like open up and it won't look that harsh. And then I'm just gonna add the same colors but backwards. So I am gonna start. I'm not gonna add cafecito because I think that's a little too harsh. But I'm gonna be adding Tropico and Coco Tan. My shadow is looking really, really nicely, you guys. I'm actually really, really happy with everything. Like, I like it. Okay, now to go in and wipe all this powder off because I've been baking for a while. And then I'm going to go in and add a little more powder. Just so it could be all like a little bit more even. And then taking my Luxie brush, which I think I'm going to take this one right here because it is for powder. It says it's the 516 um, dual fiber powder brush. And I'm going to take my butter brown bronzer and then just start bronzing my face with this. Okay. And then for my highlight, I'm going to be taking this tapered highlighter brush, um, number 522 by Luxie. And I'm going to be taking my Pure, which I also got in the last month's uh, BoxyCharm. And I'm going to be taking the color Originator. I like this one, but I think it makes me look like a little bit weird. And let me try it again, but with setting spray. Because the other time, or maybe it's a brush, huh? Let me try it again, because I've been trying it, and it makes me look, like, very textured. So I haven't been liking it. But you can even tell that I have highlight. It just looks like texture. So let me see if the, the, the spray will probably make it worse. Can you guys see that or no? I do want to add some inner corner highlight and I'm going to be taking the same one I used for my as my highlighter and I'm going to be taking this for my inner corner. I am going to go in with my liquid lipstick before I put on my brows, my eyelashes I mean, by Ofra. You guys already know the products that I'm using. Okay guys, and this is the look I came up with. Um, I went ahead and put on my lashes which I'm actually really, really surprised about. They're actually really, really pretty lashes. And, um, yeah, so I think with that, um, I am going to go ahead and let you guys go because my camera is dying. So I just need to put on my earrings. And then this is the outfit that I am currently wearing from my boutique. Um, as you guys know, everything will be linked down below. Um, and, yeah, I think I'll just talk to you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 